Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I wanted to do a quick video on showing you how to avoid one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're setting up MetaMask, and that is using their backup phrase from their Ledger hardware device to set up MetaMask. You do not want to do that. So basically what people are doing is they'll hit download now, they'll install MetaMask, and after they've got MetaMask installed, they want access to the cryptocurrency that they have stored using their Ledger device, which I totally understand. It's a great way to store your cryptocurrency to use your Ledger device with Ledger Live. But, and you can also use that device to manage your balances in MetaMask, but you should not do it this way. So what people are doing is hitting get started and then they read this and they say, oh yeah, I do have a recovery phrase because I have a ledger device that I want access to through MetaMask. So they'll hit import wallet, they'll agree to all this, and then they'll uh, go over here and say, oh yeah, I've got a 24 word recovery phrase on my ledger device and I'm just gonna type that in here and import all that into MetaMask so that I can trade on Uniswap or SushiSwap or I can go on DEXs and add liquidity, do all kinds of stuff. That is great. That's a wonderful thing. Uh, we want MetaMask to give us access to all that cool stuff, but that is not the way that we want to interface with our Ledger device. Let me show you what you should do. So what you want to do is just back out of this and go back up here and just set up a brand new wallet in MetaMask, right? You'll set yourself a password, right? And then you'll just go ahead and set up MetaMask as a standalone wallet. Now, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and write down this recovery phrase so that you'll have access to your MetaMask if something happens to your computer. All right, now that we have MetaMask set up, we've got this empty account. We really don't need to use this account, uh, but the way that MetaMask is set up, they force you to create this empty account, but that's not a big deal. What we wanna do is use MetaMask along with our Ledger device so that the private key will be stored on our device and not in MetaMask or on our computer. So the first thing we'll want to do is get out our ledger device and connect it to our computer and get our pin entered so that we'll have the device unlocked. All right, and after you get your pin entered, you should be at the home screen of your ledger device. What you need to do is navigate over to the Ethereum app and enter the Ethereum app before you do this. So we'll just use the buttons to navigate over to the Ethereum app. Once we get on top of the Ethereum app, we'll click both buttons quickly with our fingers, and that enters us into the Ethereum app. Now we're ready to connect the device. Anything that we do in MetaMask will be with the Ethereum app, right? It doesn't matter if we're using Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Phantom, any of those alternate chains all use the Ethereum app when you're interfacing with MetaMask. So let's just go over here to the accounts, this big circle over here, pull that down. Now here is where we connect our hardware device to our MetaMask. So we'll just click connect hardware. We'll go over here. I'm gonna choose Ledger. We'll hit continue. All right, and we're gonna wanna connect our Ledger device by just clicking here and clicking the connect. You're gonna see a list of all of your current Ethereum wallets or Ethereum addresses that you have set up on your Ledger device. As you can see, in my case, I already have two addresses that are set up and already uh, have some Ethereum in them. And you also have uh, a whole list of other addresses that might be empty if you'd rather use an empty one and start from scratch. But these two here at the top are active wallets that already have Ethereum balances and I already have some ERC20 tokens in there. And all I need to do to gain access to those is just tick them off and hit unlock. Now, as you can see, I have full access to the uh, Ethereum wallet on my Ledger device. 
but I'm still using the ledger device as my security, right? Any transfers that I make are going to require me to authorize on the device, right? I'll just give you a quick example. I switched back over here and got the address of that uh, default account. I'm gonna go back over to my ledger-based account. And then I'll just go in here and send a little bit of Ethereum over to that address. But I'll just go ahead and send a small amount so, th so that you can see what happens. I'll click Next. It's gonna give me a rundown of the transaction. Now when I click Confirm in MetaMask, watch what happens on my device. I have Review Transaction. I have to review everything about the transaction on my device and then click Accept and Send by clicking both buttons. This is the private key authorizing that transaction. So nothing can happen in MetaMask unless I use the buttons on my device. And this holds for any kind of transactions in MetaMask. Any trades, uh, if you put in liquidity, take out liquidity, any of those operations are going to require confirmation on the device and that's what the device is designed for, right? To give you that security of your private key. Importing the 24 word recovery phrase directly into MetaMask simply overrides all of that. You don't wanna do that. You wanna add your hardware wallet in the account interface like I showed you. So keep safe out there. Use your device the way it was intended and use your device with MetaMask in the safest way possible, the way I showed you right here. Avoid those common mistakes and keep your crypto safe. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.